So these are the eight or nine questions that I get a lot. So I just want to create a compilation kind of video cheat sheet on how to see through, zoom through, text behind, just basic text like that. But the FCC program that Filmora has is phenomenal. So I linked it below because there are a lot of lessons that you can view and learn and people are doing some really cool stuff in Pomora. Okay, let's get started with see-through. I did two. I did skating and see-through. I made skating a lot bigger. So in every lesson, we're going to go up here and go to titles, grab the default title and bring it down. When I say bounce, that means we're going to export the text and bring it back in. I'm going to type in see-through, type whatever you want to type. Go over here to, of course, fonts. Let's change this to impact and drag the corners out to make it bigger. Go over here and let's take a snapshot of it and bring it back in. Double click on the video, go up here to image, go to compositing and change it to multiply. Now we can bring down a video or you can bring down a photo. There you go. Or I can change this to overlay. Now let's do a zoom through. Here I started with skating which I bounced out. I'm going to change that to multiply. You can remake in the other one as well too. It doesn't matter. Press Alt or Option plus C as in cat. I'm going to go ahead and pan and zoom into here. So let's go ahead and go to pan and zoom. Change this to custom. Let's click inside the end box. Make it as small as we can and make sure we line it or put it inside the letters. We're going to zoom in right there. Render that, edit that, or we're going to put on a swoosh. So normally when you go through stuff like that, go through an eye or whatever, there's going to be some kind of swoosh on it. And that's too early, so let's move it down so we can time it better. Not trying to be perfect here, I'm going to give you an idea. Now we can bounce that and bring it back in. Then we'll press Ctrl or Command plus R and change the speed to two times. But I did do two times and three times. Now let's move on to our scary text. We'll start again with the default title. Bring it down. Type in whatever you want. I used a font called You Murderer. You can get that from thefont.com for free or use any font you like. I'm going to bring in my font here, You Murderer, and we'll grab the corners and drag it out and center it up. Then I'm going to drag this bar down because I want to drop a shadow on this. So click on the shadow box. I'm going to make mine a light medium gray. And you can play with that opacity or blur, but I want to adjust the distance. Go up to animation. Let's find evaporate and apply it. Press OK. 
Now I'm going to go over here to media and go to sample colors. I'm going to grab red and bring it down and place it on top. And place that where I want the red to start. Now go to image compositing again and change it to multiply. Let's drag it back a little bit. Now I'm going to go up here to Transitions and grab a Dissolve and place it over at the beginning of the red. Go to Effects and we're going to find Chaos 1. Drag it down. And I have too much chaos in this example, but drag this over and drag them all over. Make your own changes there. Go find Very Dirty Film or any other film you want to put on top of this video. And that's what that would look like. And we can turn down that chaos as well. But let's drop it dissolve on the text so it comes in slower. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Render that and there we go. If you decide to export or bounce this and bring it back in. If you change it to screen, you can actually play a video or put a picture behind it. So if I brought a video down here, went up to video compositing and change it to screen, now I can see that video behind it. Just a FYI. To put an object behind something is pretty simple. We're just going to mask what we want seen. Bring a video down. I'm going to go up here to titles. I'm going to bring a title down on top of that video. We'll do an edit there. Double click here. And let's change this to Chi Town Party. Put whatever you want here. Come up to animation and click on slide right. Just want this to come in very simply. I'm going to bring down the same video again. Let's go ahead and edit this and clean this up. We're going to lock the bottom one. The second one we're going to go up here to mask and take this rectangle because it better fits what we're trying to do. But if you have a circular object, whatever, just change it based on what you need to do. Let's go ahead and try to get this lined up. Scroll down and we can change the rotation here. I think I ended up at 0 0.75. But again, it's not perfect. Just want to give you an idea. Now you play that back, and there you go. This building leans, I think, on purpose, but that's what we had to deal with. Let's create dancing text. Let's go up to our titles and bring down default type in whatever you want to type in go up to animation select or find up down to that's what that looks like click OK let's go up to effects and find under basic mild that's what that looks like now double click on the effect and we can make changes here. I'm going to take everything back to the default. And that's what we have. Now we need to adjust the speed. So at this length it's going to be a little bit slower. As I drag it back it's going to get faster. And adjust it to where you want it. Then we create two more copies. Control or Command plus C. Then Control Command plus V is in victory, C is in cat, V is in victory. Now I'm going to type different text in each of these boxes, so to speak. Render that, and now we can bounce it. Now I'm going to just reduce this to two boxes, but I want to have the M in mad red, and I want to change the speeds of this one. So I'm going to add new text to the first box and then go over to the second text box edit that go over here to titles make sure we highlight that 
change the font size to 100 and the color to red. Now we can render that and bounce it. Let's bring back in the first one. Now I'm going to create a couple of copies here. So I have three. I'm going to have four in total, but we'll get to that in a second. So the first one, we're going to have it at normal speed. We're going to make the second one two times. So click on here, the speed icon, and go over to fast and two times. Same thing, click on the button here icon and change this to 0 0.50. Now let's copy the first one and paste it at the end. So we'll go back to the normal speed. Let's pop in some music. <laughs> Let's bring in the first one now. We need to change the chroma key to black, so double click on it, go to chroma key, and click on the eyedropper. Let's bring in two copies of that, put it all together, and we'll have this. Now let's create the karaoke style bouncing ball go up to titles bring down our default title again let's type in whatever you want to type in make a copy of that let's lock it let's paste it now we have two now we're going to go up here and we're going to change the animation to typewriter bring this back so it comes in slower this is going to make it stay once it stops and now we need to change the color of the text we'll take the eyedropper and pick on the purple here and select that press OK now we have this pretty simple to do so in karaoke videos music videos you can do that now we're gonna find a spot where I want the ball to bounce over the it let's bring in the ball and I provided the asset for this too let's make it smaller all plus option or option plus C is in cat let's go ahead and crop this down to custom drag it over so the ball fits perfectly press OK now we'll grab a corner here and make it smaller there we go now place place the ball over the eye we're going to go over here to our preset animations and we're going to find up down to we'll copy and paste that along the line here and now we'll find each ball and we'll just move it over so a second ball goes over to was third ball goes over to a fourth ball goes over to mad and fifth ball goes over to party so you want to have it when the ball hits the word the color changes and what I did is I found a tennis ball sound and just incorporated that to give it some effect it does what I want it to do now we're going to create titles coming out of the boom box and we're going to match the color of the text to the wheels let's bring our video down let's make a few copies of that let's bring down our Blues Brothers Jazz music from the audio happy library now let's bring down a default title bring down a couple we need two actually and let's click on the first one let's find our color the pink so we're gonna go to our eyedrop color finder and click on the type of pink we want and apply that and let's click on our second title and do the same thing for that with the gold wheels here that's good enough now we're going to type roller skating or type whatever you want you want that to appear when the wheel comes around so you need to time that I'm going to make this font a lot bigger let's make is back 150 let's go to the first title let's make that 90 Now go to advanced. 
scroll down. Now I want to create an outline for roller skating. So I made some corrections there with that word. So click on the outline box. Now the eyedropper. And we're going to find the color we want here way back in the background. So that's going to bring that background together with our text. And we can try this blue over here too. A little bit darker. Now let's go to the second title. And let's find the color we want to use for the outline for that one. So click on the eyedropper here and let's go over and see what we want. Ah uh, yeah, more black. I guess because of the boom box. Let's click on the first text again. Let's go over here to customize and we're going to create a keyframe here. So add a keyframe. And we're going to take the scale all the way down to zero. Now drag your timeline down the text to about the middle and go up here to your scale and make the text bigger. Add a new keyframe here and go to the end down the timeline. Now scale this all the way back to zero. So now click on the second title. I'm going to start at the beginning of that. I'm going to go up here and add a frame. Move down my timeline to about right here. And scale up to 140 ish. Add a new keyframe. And now I'm going to rotate this 360. Type in 360 and rotate. And that should rotate. Now add a new keyframe again after the rotation, but you want to verify it first. Drag down the timeline to the end and now reduce your scale to zero. Those are the basic questions that I get all the time, so there's your answer to that. But that's how you do those seven text tricks. The last two are separate lessons, and this is using the Xfinity style transition with the letter X or the word extreme. And those lessons are linked below. I think you should check them out because they do a lot of keyframing and they are linked like below. That. Also check out the FCC link below. There are a lot of different lessons out there.